Welcome back guys to Techno Vlog. It's a pleasure being back here with you guys. Um, this is our season three. Yes, we're back for season three. More fun. Should be. Should be. We have a lot of good stuff to talk about. And we, we missed a lot too. We missed, we missed, a, missed a, lot. a lot. We missed a lot. But thankfully, we're back. My beard looks fabulous. <laughs> and we look we looking a bit we looking a bit high tech now. So appreciate the new look, the new beard. I've been using uh, my wife's um, hair product, so my beard looks wonderful. What's the product? Micro, of course. Right, micro, of course. And my skin looks, I don't know, I'm looking at myself in the on the screen there. You might not, you can't see me looking at myself, but I'm looking at myself right now and I think I look good. All right, Maurice, enough of yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just enough saying. of yourself. <laughs> we're here to talk tech. Okay, right, we're, we're here, here to talk tech. tech. First segment, what are we talking about in first segment? Uh, we're going to talk about the Apple Pay. Apple, uh, yeah. Apple, Apple has a new status quo that they've introduced to the market. The Apple Card. The Apple Card. The Apple Card. I want to be American so bad right now. It's not even funny. I want Is to be American. Is it compatible in the United States? It's only in the United States right now. Okay. And I'm certain, I'm 100% certain that it's not going to come to Simpson. Apple, why would Apple send titanium cash? There's not even an Apple Store in Simpson. So, it's, it's not possible. Apple doesn't do... Apple doesn't extend support like that unless you could go to Apple Store and get help and get support. Mm -hmm. I don't know if one of these Apple executives um, could hear this right now and say, you know what, we need a little store. Even if it's a little, little kitchen store in the bottom town, but we need a little store, something, man. Uh, my wife's laptop actually had a problem with the screen and she just had to send it to Barbara to get it repaired. Uh, that's that's so far away. You have to put that's our expense that you don't need. So right. if every like I said, Vince, so I don't like we have plenty of Apple devices to justify, but I know they are busy since in Vince because what Apple does, you have a tech store, you could partner and offer support and stuff for people. But just that's my two okay. cents. But know that you're on it, Maurice. Mm -hmm. And you you really want excited about the I'm Apple excited card. about the card. So, what are the benefits of the Apple? What, what is there to like about the Apple Card? For me, I think it's a trap. It, well, of course. <laughs> right? um, the but, established principle is um, even hates everything Apple does, <laughs> and in everything it has skepticism. Right. But, hear me out. From mm -hmm. a business perspective, mm -hmm. it's excellent. Right. I would agree with that. It's an excellent I would event. agree with that too. As a customer, it's a trap. Mm -hmm. It's a whole trap. If you have no control over your spending, if you just like to spend, 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 mm -hmm. Is a whole chop and a half. But as a business, it's really good. Now, think about this, Eden. The Apple Card came out and everybody thought that this is going to be for the rich and the famous. Goldman Sachs is who is underpinning the Apple Card. And Goldman Sachs is the financial institution that is for the rich and for people who have money. Right? So when they, walk, when they came on board with Apple with their card, everybody thought this is going to be exclusive this is going to be the rich people them showing off and the poor people them they have apple card but something happened everybody they, everybody's in shock that people with good credit people with bad credit everybody getting approved <laughs> so you're telling me right uh -huh. i have Five other cards. I have five other cards. I have debt on all five all, cards. All. <laughs> Every last one. I can still get the Apple. You could still get the Apple card. <laughs> wow. It's a whole trap. It's a trap. Wow. It's a trap, but hear it out. Hear me out. Listen to the trap. Mm -hmm. Apple wants every Tom, Dick, Harry, and Susan using that card. So what they're doing is they're giving you a spending limit. So if you have bad credit, you might only be able to spend 750 US dollars. Enough to buy a phone. Enough! Ah. <laughs> Come on, even. En Simulation. Enough to buy a phone. Enough to mm -hmm. buy the XR. XR. Right. Just enough to buy that XR. And right. if your credit is bad, the interest rate is very high. Mm. I think it's 20. Based on what the reports I've seen, it's about 23.9%. So it's a really high interest rate. But they're giving you enough to get that phone, to get that new phone or that new tablet or that new Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. So that's the strategy. So people with good credit, 
they have bigger, more um, spending capacity, and also they have a lower interest rate. But Apple wants to give you a titanium status symbol in your wallet when nobody else is giving it to you. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow. Five minutes on pass already. But we're going to wind down with this segment. And we're coming back again. And we're talking more tech updates for you. Stick around. All right. We're back. And we are still talking Apple. Apple, 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 Apple. Apple, Apple. Apple. Today's what? What are data today? September the 3rd. September. Oh, is it all already? Uh -huh. Jeez, Not much time days flies. Left, Did, wasn't it January yesterday? <laughs> yeah. September the 10th. My brothers and sisters out there in tech world. September the 10th. That is when Apple is going to is going to release. Well, not release, but announce, announce. Yes, announce. their devices. Even. I'm not excited. Oh, of course. Of course. Not excited. Is the sun blue? No, is that, is, is, is oh, this sky blue? <laughs> is this sky blue? What is it going to be? A refresh? It's, 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 it's going to be. Exactly. Refresh. That's exciting. But, Iman, come on. Is that, you have to get excited. Yeah, you, have, yeah, you, yeah. you never know. So there will be some surprises. Yeah, gonna, There's going to be some surprises. Iman, not going to be there still? Oh, gosh. You better just for that. Boy, the hate that drips off for you is just so frustrating sometimes. Anyway, uh -huh. Iben, yeah. Talk pardon my excitement. Yeah. Let's iPhone go. 11 is coming out. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have, I believe, it, apparently they might switch it to iPhone 11 Pros. Um, they are they, Pro Plus or just Pro? The regular Pro, Pro Plus, and I believe they're going to have the 11R. So, the cheap devices for okay. the people with bad credit, mm -hmm. combined with their Apple cards, with their credit cards, mm -hmm. and then the people with a bit more good credit could buy the iPad, the Pro, I, I, the the Pro, the Pro. and the Pro Max. Okay. You see the strategy? Is it going to be Pro Max or Pro Plus? The audio hasn't been um, confirmed I have, yet. I, they haven't been confirmed yet, but we'll see what they'll be right. up with. All the right. names are becoming very crappy and very much so. But we'll live with it. What is going to be new? Based on what I'm seeing is, the only thing I really that looks new is the three cameras. Oh yeah, the controversial yeah. three cameras. The controversial three cameras that looks absolutely ugly. <laughs> ugly, ugly, <laughs> ugly. But I'm I'm hearing, based on what I'm reading, that the processor even is going to be so good mm -hmm. that it's going to push mobile photography to, next to the next level. Oh, well, that's something to wait and see. That's something to wait and see. Yeah. Even come on. In your heart of hearts, Ibed. Do you not excited for that? People, Ibed has an iPad, you know. I touch the iPad Ibed uses. I touched it. I just wonder if it don't burn his hands when he touched that iPad. But oh, man. That, mm. is just, that is just me, I'm just saying. He has an iPad. Mm. So he must have a little excitement. Say, Baby, let me see what's coming up. Mm. But people expect September 10th, they do their shows live. You can tune in on their website and see the event. I'm expecting a crazy new processor. iPads, mm -hmm. iPhones, the might be a 16-inch MacBook. Yeah, that, that's the rumor, 16-inch 16, yeah. yeah. With an AMOLED screen and a whole yeah. crazy new Any price. screen? Nah, no touch screen yet. I do expect a new touch screen. Uh, what, 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 what about the rumors of um, the combined iOS system on a Mac? Uh, I don't think it will happen. Not, 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 not time soon. I don't think it will happen. All Here's right. why I don't think it will happen, right? There was like this slight possibility that they might do it, but then everything changed when they start making tools so that people could build Port from iOS to right. Mac. Okay. So, I use a Surface, God bless my soul. I use a Surface, <laughs> Eben has one. I like the touchscreen. Mm -hmm. I really do. Pop the kick, kick, kick the kickstand out, push the screen down, scroll in, touch it. It's a godsend. It's a god it, Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> god sent is, is, is really, it's it's pushing the boundaries. Oh, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's going a bit too far. Oh, god sure. sent is mm -hmm. a tough one to use. <laughs> 
It's not tough work, you. It's a good device. It's soft. It's excellent a nice, device. It's a nice device. Right. It's what, what, excellent. What, 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 it's also had a big word that you can't just throw around. Mm-hmm. That you're arbitrary. <laughs> but it's a nice device. The touch screen is nice. Yeah. I wish Apple could bend because macOS looks like it's built to be touched. The app draw is bigger, nice. The dock is bigger, nice. The buttons are well laid out. They've always had a nice polished OS. Mm-hmm. So, but <laughs> food for thought, imagine the same gestures that you use on the keypad. Right. Imagine those same gestures on the, on the screen. screen. It well, Apple mm-hmm. just stubborn. Nobody uses that stupid. Um, I can't like it. You tell me, do Apple Mac? The, the, the bar, <laughs> the, the stupid bar. <laughs> It, it, it just the touch makes, bar. Yeah, the touch oh, bar. Right. Uh-huh. Nobody uses it. I it, it doesn't. When they announce it and they should bring up a DJ DJ from the bar, mm-hmm. I'm like, really, really, we going we going with this now? This little bar, nobody likes it. People want a touch screen, but Apple will not bend. Why? Because they want to channel people in the iPad direction. All right. All right. So we're talking more um, tech news when we come back. But stick with us, we have more exciting time. We're gonna bash even a bit more. Before we leave, we're gonna talk about Microsoft. He, he I'm knowing that he's salvating at the mouth right now to talk about his favorite company, Microsoft. And we're gonna touch on it when we come back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Techno Blurb, and we were talking a lot about the Apple devices, and mm-hmm. we think it's time that we move on to the Samsung devices. Okay. Are All you right? excited about the Samsung devices? Do you hear the excitement in my voice? Let me um, tell you, the, uh, the, the S10 devices mm-hmm. are great devices. And I think it's the best lineup they've had in a while, mm-hmm. the S10s. Right. Um, they recently announced the, the Note 10, right. which was very underwhelming, I, to uh, say the least. It was very underwhelming. I mean, the S10s were so good right. that there was, nowhere to, there was nowhere else to push the boundaries with. To and, produce a Note 10. And, and that is the problem now. We're seeing the plattering of smartphones. Before, and God bless Samsung's heart for this, making the bold step and going against Apple. When Apple was saying 3.5 inch screen is supposed to be the standard. Reachability, they were arguing that if you can't touch the top of the screen with your finger, your thumb, it's too big. It's too big. Mm-hmm. Samsung said to hell with that and they built a big screen phone, and that's how everything got started. Mm-hmm. So credit them, credit them for that, um, but we are at the breaking point now. There's nowhere else to go. Not at the like, moment. Not exactly. They're, so, they're foldable. Uh, well, <laughs> mm, what happened to Samsung's foldable oh, phone again? Man. Up to now, it you can't a, hit the market. It was a disaster. It was a huge disaster. How are we pulled out? Exactly. How are we pulled out? Everybody pulled out. So, so right now, we are at this point where Apple normally tells the market where to go. Apple did a notch. Samsung said, you know what? That is too ugly. I'm never going to do a notch. They didn't follow. Apple did the... Well, the two cameras, well, other people were doing it before. Yeah, so Apple yeah. has not told the market, this is a feature you need to run behind. Except to get rid of the headphone jack. Except, well. They're, they're leading the way of removing the stuff. Head, well, hey. Not, not adding. Well, you know what? Your hatred, <laughs> I feel it, but it's okay. God bless you. Oh, but the, the market leader, everybody might dispute it, everybody might talk about Apple and this and that. At the end of the day, Apple set, set the trend for years. Yeah, no and doubt about it. We, there's nowhere to go, so you have people confused as to what to do next. That's why the Galaxy Fold exists. That's why the, 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 the Huawei Fold, all of these folding devices, because mm-hmm. we need some innovation. Yeah, but <clears throat> Samsung, interestingly, is cha- I, I see a change. I'm not sure if this change was there before, mm-hmm. but I'm now noticing it. Right. Like the radical change and experiments that they do it on their phones, they're doing it with cheaper models. Right. For right. instance, the right. A, the what right. is it, the A eighty. The A eighty. With the, the flippable camera. It, the, this morning, the A ninety came out. There we go. So, and those phones are rocking some amazing features. Right. Features that you're not gonna see in the Galaxy's naughty notes. Exactly. So that 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 is a very good point that you made. 
they did make an announcement and said that they're going to use their A series um, phone and they also have the M series phone and they're going to experiment with their more crazier designs. So the A80 had a flip around yeah. camera, right. all of these things. They're going to, you know, radical design changes to see if what sticks. Right. Mm -hmm. Apple doesn't have the luxury to do that. If something fails, it fails badly and horribly. So they have to get it right every single time. What the note, this is basically a summary of the note update. There is a now the camera is in the middle of the screen at the top. The selfie camera, the screens are bigger, the batteries are bigger, and the most amazing feature, and my sarcasm, let me just preface this, I'm saying I'm being very sarcastic. You can <laughs> I'm trying oh, to I'm trying to not <laughs> laugh here. Ibe, go come on, go with it, go with it. Deep breath. You can now, ladies and gentlemen, take the what do you call it? The stylus, stylus, wave it at the phone, and things happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> you better let me laugh. You better try to do that. Let me laugh. I'm uh, trying to make a serious point. <laughs> you, you can take your stylus, mm -hmm. wave it at the screen, and things happen in 2019. <laughs> I, I, I rest my case. Oh man, that, that, that my friend is the, the, the interesting thing about the Note 10. 10. The Note 10, sorry, the Note 10 update. So, unless we get real quality foldable devices, innovation in the high end is basically dead right now, for right now. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap up here and we're coming back with Microsoft. Eben is gonna take lead on this one because of course he's a Microsoft guy. That's right. And he'll tell us all of his expectations for October when Microsoft takes the stage. See you soon. Welcome back my friends. Welcome back. Techno Blood Time. And we're talking Microsoft, you know. The best tech company <laughs> in the world. I was waiting. <laughs> Yeah, so Microsoft is having an event in October. Mm -hmm. uh, we already spoke about the Apple mm -hmm. event, what we expect in the new phones. Right. And I could show you the Microsoft event is going to pack much more excitement than the Apple's event, all right? Better than Bucket Maurice, all right? Somebody shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but... All right, so what am I expecting? What right? are you expecting? What am I expecting? Um... Let me start with the least, um, least favorable one, uh -huh. a new operating system. It's not exactly a new operating system. Right. It's more like a simpler version of, of the current operating system. Right. Mm -hmm. right? So this is basically a skin and bones of the current operating system right. to, to be able to run on any device. Right. right? It's their push into IoT. Right. So... Microsoft realized that number one, they're having problems with Chrome OS. Right. Chrome OS has been dominating the education sector. It's been killing them. Because right. simplicity. Windows is a giant, complex OS. Power users love it, but people who just want to pick up their device, watch some Netflix, play some games, message their, their friends. We don't need all of this complexity. Yeah. That's why it's so difficult to create a Windows tablet. There's, right. there's too much it's just going too much. on. And people much. expect, mm -hmm. when I have a Windows device, I could show on my legacy applications and the expectation. So it's like curbing expectation, but trying to create a new reality at the right. same time. So they're now trying to see if they could build an operating system from the core of Windows that could cater to the people who are just looking for entertainment. Basic, yeah. Ba basic. basic. Bare bones basic. So, yeah. we'll see if that happens in October. Yeah. And that's just something to look forward to. So, so, what else are you looking forward to? New devices, my friend. New devices. We're not looking for a phone. We, we already know that's dead. That's dead. <laughs> that might be a possibility. No, I, I doubt that it, man. Might even... I doubt it, man. Look, I won't talk about it no, too much, no. but I feel in my heart Microsoft is going to try to hijack Android. I, I mean, they are. They are. Slowly. Sneakily. They, they're doing it. But, but 
like boldly say mm-hmm. because look at it what drive mm-hmm. could replace drive easy outlook could replace gmail easy calendar all of these they have they have built all of the apps mm-hmm. to replace Google services. Especially when they partner with companies like Samsung. Exactly. When they have, they remove the Google Core right. of apps and replace it with, with Microsoft and Core Android, apps. it's open source. So they yep. could do that. They could literally replace, and they have Microsoft Word exactly. to replace Docs. They could do it. Look out for it. I think it, maybe they would. <laughs> I would love to see it because I would love to see Microsoft because mm-hmm. Google made an out of play statement a few years ago. I would never forgive them. What is that? They said that they are the new Microsoft. <laughs> you do not replace a done. Microsoft is a done in the industry. I'm no, telling you, you don't do it. They said that for real? They did. They said that they are the new Microsoft. And I watched them say, no. You don't understand how controlled Microsoft is. You <laughs> cannot replace Microsoft. But hey, that's uh-huh. just my take. But yeah, what is right. I looking for? No, I haven't mentioned the new devices. Uh, well, what are the new devices? <laughs> what are the new devices? All right, so the new devices. We, I'm gonna look look forward to a new Surface Pro. Right. Uh, what's interesting though is that I would like to see a much more powerful, obviously a much more powerful Surface Pro. Right. But then I would like also like to see an ARM powered Surface oh, Pro. Oh, that would be very interesting. With Long the battery life, long good performance, tw- whole day battery whole day life. life. I trust me, that would be good. Yeah. Well, always on, always connected. Mm. That, my friend, will be the will be best. Be that will make you shell out. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I'll be replacing my current Ooh, Surface Pro. Well, he has a Surface and oh, okay. An iPad. <laughs> iPad. This is the bite him. <laughs> iPad. iPad. All right, Maurice. All right. All right. Okay. In other devices, um, last year they introduced the the headphone, which was a surprise. Mm. This year, I think. I would like to see the new foldable device that they have. Fold, okay. That's right. everybody's rumoring. We'll see. This foldable device can fold not in one way, but mm. multiple folds. We'll see, we'll see. All right, that will be the kick, my friend. Well, we are waiting to see, Eben, if Microsoft gets it right. Look out for it, October. October, right? October, people. Yeah. October. But that has come to the next episode. We have been out for a while, but we're back. We're back. We're, we're going to be talking new tech stuff. Every week, tune in. VC3 Channel, channel 114. Channel 114. I keep getting it wrong, but Channel 114. Channel 114. Channel 114. Check us out next week, mm-hmm. this week, every week. And don't forget to hit us up on social media. Exactly. Yeah. Techno right. Blob. My name is Maurice John. And I'm Eben Wilkins. And that has been another episode. Peace.